Solving and graphing inequalities, 21D. And of course, like I always have, there's video links in the description to help you if you need them. An inequality is a mathematical sentence that compares two expressions by using symbols. We have a less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, or is not equal to. We can remember the less than because it's almost in the shape of an L, isn't it? It goes in the same direction as an L. We can also remember that the small tip goes to the small number and the big open mouth side goes to the larger number. Take a look at this. We have 2 plus 3 is less than 2 plus 4. Well, yeah, that makes sense because that's 5 and that's 6. And 5 is less than 6. But what if we had a variable here? When we see an inequality symbol, we know the variable can have many possible values that'll make the statement true. So there's a lot of things that x could represent that would make this true, not just 4. It could be any number greater than 3. So if this is 5, this could be anything added to 2 that would be greater than 5. We could even do 3.001. That's 3 and 1 one thousandth. If we add 2 to 3 and 1 one thousandths, we have 5 and 1 one thousandths. That's greater than 5. It's more than 5 by that 1 one thousandth. See? We could even do several zeros in a 1. It would still be bigger than 5 by itself. And we can graph the solution set for an inequality on a number line. And the solution set contains all the possible values for the variable. In Algebra 1, we learn that we use the set braces like that to write the solution set in. We're not going to do that in this GED playlist because it's kind of skimming over everything. All right. So it contains all the possible values for the variable. When, and we're going to use an empty circle on a number line when it's not included in the answer, and we're going to use a filled-in circle on the number line when it is included in the answer. So we have 4 is greater than x. So it, because 4 is greater than x, it doesn't include 4, does it? It would be anything smaller than a 4. So we put an empty circle, an open circle, on the 4, showing that it doesn't include it, and then we use an arrow line going in the direction that x could be. So it's going to go smaller because x is smaller than it. See, 4 is greater. Do you see how that happened? That means x is smaller than 4. If 4 is greater than x, then x is smaller than 4. So we go now. The addition property of inequality says that we can add the same amount to both sides of the inequality symbol to isolate a variable. Okay, and we can use the addition property with inequalities just as we do with equations. Whatever we add to one side of the inequality symbol must be added to the other side to keep the statement balanced. So just like we made zero pairs before, we can do it with inequalities. If we have x plus 3 is greater than 5, we can add a negative 3 to both sides of this equation, make a zero pair here, and now we've got x is greater than 2, and we can graph it on a number line. x is greater than 2, so we use an empty circle to show it doesn't include 2. So it doesn't include 2 because it's bigger than 2, right? So it's any number that's bigger than a 2 but doesn't include the 2. See? Here we have x plus 11 is greater than or equal to 16. We make a zero pair. We add a negative 11 to both sides. And now this is gone, and we have x is greater than or equal to a 5. And we can grasp, graph that, too. x is greater than or equal to 5. So we use a filled-in circle to show it's included. So it's any number that's 5 or greater. See? We can also multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by the same number to isolate the variable. But... If we multiply or divide an inequality by a negative number, we must reverse the inequality symbol. So if it's going like this, we have to flip it to like this. If it's like this, see how it's reversed? So anytime we're multiplying or dividing by a negative, we have to remember to flip that sign, otherwise it won't be true. So I'll show you an example in a second. Let's do this one first. We've got 4x is less than 12. So we can divide both sides by this 4 coefficient, just as if that was an equal sign. 
We've done that before. And this would become a giant 1x because it's got the same numerator and denominator. And that would be a 3, and we can graph it. x is less than 3. So we use an empty circle to show 3 isn't included because it's got to be less than 3. So it would be 2.9999, you know, really close to 3, but not 3, and then any number smaller.